Bench testing the 1959 Cadillac headlight switch with the fog light option. Serial number 1114 2020. Offered by TT Parts Rebuilding. First test switch first position tail and parking lights. Second test switch second position tail and headlights. Third test dome light. Fourth test dash lights dim and bright. Fifth test First position, tail and fog light. Sixth test, switch load test for the headlight. Seven, switch terminals insulated from chassis to ground. First test, first position. Parking lights and tail lights. Second test, second position, tail and headlights. See the tail light indication? Headlight indication and front parking lights are off. Now we're going to be testing the dome light, rotating the rheostat, grounding the contact, have an indication of a dome light. Also, see dash lights are illuminated and off. Next test we'll be conducting is a dash light dim and bright control. First position. Parking lights, we're going to rotate the rheostat and dim the dash lights. We can see it and off. Again, full on to dome, off the dome tab, rotate the rheostat to decrease the brightness of the dash lights. And off. Switch off. Now we'll be testing first position, fog and tail. Indication we have the front parking lights and the tail lights. Using the fog light control knob that's located behind the pull rod, we're going to rotate the switch and turn on the fog lights. Early model cars didn't have the capabilities of running multiple lights due to the fact they only had generators. So in this situation, when we rotate the switch from parking to fog, the parking lights in the front will come off and the front fog lights will come on. We switch to the headlights. We see that this option is no longer available. And the front parking lights are off, but we have a headlights indication. And off. Next test we'll be conducting is the terminal load test for the headlight circuit. Moving the test stand connection. And this will give us an indication of the quality of the switch contacts in the headlight circuit, which draws the most voltage and amperage. Go to first position. Test the fog. Back to parking and headlights. We notice that the switch is nice and tight, no dimming of the bulb. Good indication, good contacts. And off. Using a standard 12 volt test light, we're going to be testing the quality of the switch terminals to ground. This is where blown fuses could be an issue if these terminals are shorted to ground. So, again, Chassis grounded, checking terminal 1, no ground, terminal 2, the battery terminal, no ground, terminal 3, headlight circuit, no ground, parking, no ground, tail, no ground, circuit breaker, no ground, and a ground. So this test proves that the switch is insulated from ground. And in this situation where these terminals could be shorted to ground would be a source of blown fuses.